Good morning, friends. It's Emma. Happy Friday to you all. Today, I'm going to present to you another exercise video. And what I'd like to do today is I'd like to talk about all the, uh, there's five things that we should focus on as we, uh, as we age, because these things tend to take uh, a downward a turn with aging, okay? And these are, okay, so posture, that's one of them. Our posture, we start to, you know, lean more forward. I mean, today with all the technology and all the screen time that we're doing, it, it's almost like everybody's in that, in that situation where they're leaning forward a lot. So I'm gonna today address that with one exercise that we're gonna do for our posture. Um, another thing we're gonna work on is leg strength because that's another thing that tends to really dwindle as we age. Uh, if you've noticed like people that use those exercise, those um, electronic um, chairs, after a while their legs are, they, they, they really can't help them that much anymore. So the less we use our legs, the less uh, likely that they will serve us. So we have to keep them strong and we have to keep them healthy. Uh, another uh, exercise that I'd like to do today is uh, lateral movement, so moving side to side, because this helps with our balance, because that's again another issue with aging is our balance. Um, and then of course there's ankle movement. Ankles are super important to keep strength as st uh, strong because um, of falling. We don't, we want to really take care of that and prevent falls as much as we possibly can. And the ankles take, play a big, big role in uh, maintaining that stability in our legs so that uh, we remain um, stable, okay? Um, and the last but not least would be uh, your strength, okay? So that's number five. Strength is important at any age. And as we age, the, the muscles don't um, serve us as well. And so we have to really uh, pay attention to that and do some strengthening exercises. All right, okay, sorry about all the talking. I just wanted to go through that today so that you have an idea what the video will be about today. Okay, so with that being said, let's begin with a nice uh, cleansing breath. So let's lift our hands right up over our heads. And then bring them down in front of you. Let's do that three times. This time, let's just raise them right in front of us. Take a deep, deep inhalation through the nose. And then out through the mouth. Hold the breath a little bit. And one more like that. So bringing the arms up right over the head, biceps by the ears. Inhale deeply. Hold, 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 hold. And then release. So our first exercise for posture is going to be a wall angel. And I'm just realizing I'm probably a little bit too close to my camera. So I'll move over a little bit. You can do these standing up. They're, so they're called wall angels because typically you would do these on a wall, on a bare wall standing. Okay, but for all intents and purposes, we can do these uh, while seated as well. So plant your feet right on the floor. Place your hands. Uh, like this okay so like a goal post hands so you're going to come up all the way up bringing your hands together at the top and then bringing them back down to this position so it's called let's say you're making an angel okay so we're going to do that let's try to do that 10 times now please if you're feeling any sharp pains or anything like that it means this movement is not for you and i will show you another move that you can do as well for the post for to keep the posture nice and straight, okay? So here we are. So we put our backs right up against the chair, the back of the chair for this one. Arms up like a goal post, okay? Right here, so squeezing the shoulder blades together. Palms are facing uh, me in this case, okay? And so you're gonna bring the palms right up over your head and then like in a prayer position above your head and then back down. Okay, that was one, okay? The first one was a demo. And let's do that again, up, breathing it out, and breathing it out on the way down. And then this is number three, up, inhale, and 
and out. Four, coming up and out, exhale. Five, up and out. Six, again, up. Seven, keeping the chin back, up, and out, eight, two more, two more, here we go, up, and back, nine, last but not least, all the way up, and back, and ten, and rest. If that is too difficult for you or you don't have the range that would enable you to really open up through the chest using the back muscles then another one you can do is I'm just going to turn to the side for you so you can see it it's those chin tucks okay so instead of your chin being out here forward tuck it in okay bring it right back like somebody's going to come and kiss you and you go oh no okay so you're keeping those chin right there so you're aligning the neck and the spine okay so all right, let's just do that. And this one is a holding one. So you basically come to that position, okay? Keep your shoulders back if you can, and then bring that chin back, all right? And from here, you're gonna hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and release it. All right, so that's your chin tuck. A little bit easier than doing the uh, the wall angels. All right, so there was two variations there for you. So choose whichever one works best for you and try and do, if you can get 10 done, five, try it, start with five. Five is a good number too. All right, okay. So the next one is for leg strength and we've done these before. I can't stress enough how important leg strength is as we age. All right. So with that being said, let us do some sitting to standing. Now, if you've got an ar a chair with arms, that's good for this particular one because you can support yourself on the arms of the chair as you stand yourself up, okay? If you don't have that, if you're like me today, then you might just wanna put your hands on your legs here and you're just gonna drive yourself up and then back down, okay? And that's called a sitting to standing position. All right, and as you get even stronger doing this, you can place your hands across your chest or you can place your hands up in a prisoner position, okay? So you choose your option. The easiest one is if you've got handrails right here and you can drive yourself up through your heels like that and then back down, okay? Or here on your, hand, on your legs. All right, let's begin. Ready? Let's do 10 of these, all right? Now if 10 it sounds like too many, do five. Here we go. Up and down, that's one. Up and down, that's two. Up and down, and three. Up and down, four. It's like squatting, but you're sitting in the chair. Up and down, five. Up and down, six. This also works your heart because you're using large muscle groups and down, seven, up, and down, eight, up, and down, nine, last one, and down, and rest. You can take a nice deep breath right here, bringing your arms up over your head. Inhale and exhale. All right. The next one is those lateral walks, okay? So I have my counter here for a reason today. If you can't do a lateral walk, lateral, mean, lateral means you're walking sideways, okay? If that's not an option for you because, you know, maybe you're just not that strong just yet, hold on to a counter, a tabletop, the back of your couch, whatever, okay? So for here we are. I'm going to hold on to my counter right here to demonstrate. You're going to just... Shuffle your feet sideways three, three times. Okay, so, so take three steps and three, and then the other way. One, two, three. All right, okay, let's do that. Let's try and get 10 done, okay? 
So let's do five one way, five the other way. All right, here we go. So one, two, three. That's one, one, two, three. That's two, one, two, three. That's three, one, two, three. That's four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, last one, two, three, and ten. All right. So that lateral movement, I'm going to show you another one just so that you have options, okay? You can do it with the back of your chair, holding on to the back of your chair, and you're going to lift your legs sideways in a lateral way. Lateral means sideways, okay? So you're gonna look straight ahead and you're gonna bring one leg sideways and back down. Sideways and back down, okay? Sideways and down. One more here, sideways and down. I'm gonna do five to the other side now, okay? So here we go, one and down, two and down, three, four, and five. So you have two options as well, okay? For that lateral walk or lateral raise. It still works the same muscles and it still has pretty much the same function. I prefer the walking one if you can, okay? Only because the whole idea is to get you walking, get you up on your feet and moving, all right? All right, so the next one I was going to address is the ankle, um, ankle strength, which we need to keep. That ankles, that strength in our ankles, our ankles become weak as we age. That's the one joint that really um, is uh, pretty detrimental to falling. So uh, let's keep them strong, Rosa, the muscles that are around the ankles, okay? And one option is if you wanted to do it, well, let's do the standing one first, okay? I like, I prefer standing. So again, I have to move my chair out of the way a little bit. And you have your counter to hold on to or the back of your chair, okay? And from there, you're just going to lift your heels up off the floor, then roll them back down and come to the front now and lift your toes up. Come back and lift your heels. Come back and lift your toes. Up and two. Up the other way. That's two. Here we go. Lift and three. Lift the heels, lift the toes, and four. Heels, toes, five. Heels, toes, six. Heels, toes, seven. Heels, toes, eight. Heels, toes, nine, heels, and toes, and 10, and rest. Give your legs a little shake, all right? And now the seated option is very much the same thing. If you just keep an eye on my, on my feet, we're just gonna do heel toes while seated. So sit nice and tall on your chair, tummies are nice and tight, and you go heels, oh, sorry, Heels up, toes up. It's the same thing, okay? Except you don't have that, the weight, the bearing of the weight as you do when you're standing. All right, so let's do five for all intents and purposes. Here we go. So heels up, toes up. Heels and two. Heels and three. Heels and four. Last one and five and rest. Give your legs a little shake, give yourself little kicks. All right. Excellent work, everybody. Hopefully you're keeping along with, you're doing these along with me. And now for the very last one. See, this is why I'm here today, because we need the counter again. So it's for strength, okay? 
and I was trying to think what's a good one to do because I like doing push-ups from the floor. This is a little bit easier because you can do it from a countertop, okay? Um, or a, a good stable surface. Anyway, it doesn't have to be a countertop. It can be the back of the couch again and um, whatever, whatever works for you. But for, I'm going to use my counter today to show you a push-up from the counter. And this is to uh, enhance your strength, okay? Um, in your arms, your back, your shoulders, and even your legs a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna push my chair right over here. I'm gonna come over here. And here is my counter, all right? I'm gonna put my feet, put some distance between my feet and the counter. And then from here, I'm just gonna lower myself down and then push myself up, okay? So my elbows are bending as we go down and then they're straightening as we come up. So bend and straighten. This is really, I couldn't think of anything else. This is, I think, a really good one if you can master it. Okay, let's go for five more, okay? Down and one, down and two, down, three, push, and four. Push that counter away from you when you're coming up. And five. All right. And that completes our series for today of, um, of the exercises that are super essential for us as we age. Uh, just to keep all those areas, that we, those five areas that, that, that I mentioned. Okay. So I'll mention them again. Posture. Um, balance. Uh, strength, um, uh, ankle mobility, ankle, ankle strength, okay, as well. That's for preventing falling. All right, and there you go. There's the five of them. All right, so hopefully this helps you and it keeps you moving, keeps you motivated to always strive to, to be a better version of yourself, even as we age. All right, namaste. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Friday.